I'm here at the Rico Arena for British Alpaca Futurity. I've never been to an alpaca show before, so I'm not really sure what to expect, but we'll see what there is. I'm hoping that my alpaca is going to win the cutest alpaca prize. I'm wearing my alpaca lips hoodie today, which you can get from my website, cakeswithfaces.co.uk. So let's see what's going on. This one's got panda eyes. I see your alpacas have got some rosettes here. Yep. What did they win? Greg won intermediate grey male. The championships have won are sort of done by age group and by colour. So you have all the junior male whites, intermediate whites, and so on and so forth for all the colours. There's 24 colours oh, these wow. days. <laughs> They've had their hair done before they've been shorn. We've been told that these are the top alpacas in the UK. These are the best. to see very well. Congratulations on your alpacas winning some prizes. Oh, thank you you said much. it was the two grey ones. Yes, it is, one. yes. And they're not as common as the other colours. No, the, the greys are more difficult to breed, so you don't get them as often. Can you tell me why there are all these fans around with the alpacas? It's to keep them cool, because they've got so much fleece on, and it's quite warm in here with the lights, um, they would get very sweaty, and then their fleeces kind of collapse and droop because they get damp inside so the, the fans keep the air circulating and it cuts down the humidity <laughs> this one definitely looks like he's going to start the apocalypse i think these ones are going to win fluffiest alpacas Your little alpacas, they're so cute. You said they're made in Peru. They are, yeah. We do a lot uh, with the Peruvians to support them in their efforts with alpacas. And we're, of course, doing as much as we can with the UK and our own alpacas using their fleece. It's hypoallergenic, super soft, super fine. I heard that alpacas were first tamed by the Incas. Yes, 6,000 yes. years yeah. ago. They're actually <laughs> developed by the Incas. So they developed the alpacas and llamas actually from wild strains of animal called guanaco and uh, by uh, in the camelid family still so uh, yeah thousands and thousands of years ago and they developed the llama for uh, carrying things so very much bigger than alpaca um, and very broad back very strong uh, and very short wiry fleece on it they developed the alpaca for for its wonderful fleece and that fleece is uh, temperature reactive um, so it keeps the Incas warm in the winter and then cool in the summer. I heard that their fleece is flame retardant as well. Right. Is that true? Well, yes, I haven't personally put a match to any of my alpacas <laughs> no. and I don't think I'll be doing that. But no. to be honest, I have put the flames to uh, to the toys because we have to oh, go through. How uh, can you do that? Well, well no, <laughs> not on, not I wasn't just feeling vindictive one day. But um, no, we have to uh, check for uh, fire safety. So they have been uh, had a flame put to them, oh. and yeah, it is flame retardant. So it won't um, it won't ignite. It will just fizzle out. 
Look, you can knit your own Albert the Alpaca from Alpaca Wool. Doomsday Knits, Projects of the Apocalypse and After, or the Alpacalypse and After. These people at the Yarn Garden have clearly shown my alpaca. And this one's matching me. <laughs> Look at these dragon scale gloves. They'd be really good for a Game of Thrones cosplay. I love your sign, dress like no one's judging. Thank you. That's your motto. It is my <laughs> motto, yeah, yeah. I came up with it a while, quite a while ago and it just suddenly went, oh my God, dress like nobody's judging. Because that is totally where my designs are from and where my kind of heart and my belief in what I'm doing is from, as well as being sustainable. Instead of kind of following, conforming to high street fashion and like, oh, we've got to be wearing this at this particular season and, you know, and then throw it away, you know. And just That's terrible. Of, yeah, and just kind of, you know, having no freedom in actually how we really want to be. I have certainly never seen so many alpacas. If you want to come to this show next year, I'll put the link in the description. It's called British Alpaca Futurity. Uh, remember to check out my other videos and subscribe if you like them. They're a bit different from this one. Um, and if you like my alpacalypse hoodie, you can get it from my website, cakeswithfaces.co.uk.